in this demonstration, I will identify the important bones, joints, and motions of the ankle and foot on both a skeleton and on a patient. All right, so let's palpate some of these important structures on our skeletal model and then on our patient. We have the, obviously, the tibia and fibula, the talus, the calcaneus, the cuboid, the navicular, those cuneiforms, one, two, three, and then distal to the tarsals, we have the metatarsals, and then we have the phalanges. Okay. In terms of joints, we have the talocurl joint. Primary motion is dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, even though the axis is angled, so it is triplanar. And then we have the subtalar joint, and again, primary motion is inversion and eversion due to the angulation of the axis. Okay. And then we have the mid-tarsal joints. Mid-tarsal joints interact, connect the hind foot with the forefoot. We have the first ray that we talked about, the metatarsal base articulates with the first cuneiform. This is the this is the area where that peroneus longus is going to attach. And then we have the first MTP joint, which is the metatarsal head articulating with the proximal phalange. That's where we're going to assess hallux extension and flexion. So important for that windless mechanism. Now we're going to do that on Robin. Okay. So Robin, let's have you bend your knee. Okay. And I'm going to come on down, slide into the little divot provided by, I'm on the talus. So just bring your foot up and down. Good. Okay. And then in and out. Perfect. So there we are on the talus. Okay. The Talo curl joint is sitting right in this area, okay? We have the calcaneus. The lateral aspect of the subtalar joint would be right in this area, okay? And then let's just straighten out your foot, okay? We can palpate the metatarsal, slide proximally, and there is that First ray, so first metatarsal with first cuneiform. Come on back down. Here is the metatarsal phalangeal joint. So we're going to examine mobility. Proximal phalange articulates with the distal end of the metatarsal. Okay, that MTP mobility is really important when we start to think about gait. Uh, and something that I just want to point out, motion at the foot and ankle, whether it be in dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, eversion, is really occurring on a diagonal series of axes. So we're not going to necessarily keep it to one plane uh, the planes that we discussed earlier in the course. Okay, you want to allow the diagonal movement.